How many have got 8.33? 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes, yes, yes. And you all sure you're right? I love it. 8.33. Did we find the minimum? What is the minimum? Good. Okay, the minimum, the minimum isn't 5 root 3 over 3. That's not what the minimum is. The minimum cost is actually $8.33. The maximum cost would have been $9.43. Right? This 9, it's intermediate, but it's definitely not the, the minimum or the maximum. So our minimum actually occurs when x equals 5 root 3 over 3. How much is 5 root 3 over 3 about? 866? So about 2.9 kilometers. So here's what this says. If you're the one building this pipeline and your boss says, look, I got to have you minimize the cost, which you could do, right? That's actually kind of a realistic example. If you had to actually do this, you could do it with this, right? You could easily do it. All you need is the cost. Now, that's not going to be a dollar, but even if it was like $1.38 million per kilometer at sea, you could do it. Cost there, you could do it. You'd say, okay, boss, whoever you are, uh, we're going to go from point A, which is directly perpendicular to our, from the land to our oil, you're going to go 2.9 kilometers, and that's where you're going to draw the line. And you say you're going to make your oil line from there to there, exactly from there to there, make your land line from here to here, have two people start working, meet in the middle, and that way you, you save the most money. Does that make sense? We definitely don't just want to guess. This right here, if x is zero, if x is zero, you got nine, nine dollars. Doesn't seem like a whole lot of, lot, but you're like, oh, that's only, what, 67 cents. But if this is in billions, that's $670 million. If I did my math right, it's a lot of money. Okay. You definitely don't want to have eight. Oh my gosh, you did eight. That's the, that's the worst. The worst you could do is go directly from there to there. That's the worst. Unless you couldn't buy all this land, and then maybe you'd have to. But that would be a different constraint. How many people understand our example here today? Good. We're going to do one more. We're going to talk about um, minimizing material. So this is more of a geometric approach. This is the, I get this had a little bit of geometry in it, but it's only Pythagorean theorem. This is actually kind of a economist or a, a maybe a business approach. This one is definitely going to be like uh, I don't, don't want to say engineering because not doing any engineering, uh, but but dealing with more of a geometric figure. Okay. So let's suppose that you're in the business of bottling Coca-Cola or some sort of cola, and you want to come up with a can that holds the most amount of soda for the least amount of material. Right? So when, when you see a can, typically we design cans that, that fit in your hand and they're easy to drink, right? But it's probably not the most, honestly, economical way that you could package something. It's, it's, it's actually a, bit, a little bit too long. We want, we'd have to have something more squat to save ourselves some material. Do you follow? Would you want to make a can that's like this round and this big? <laughs> no, probably not. Or unless you go to the yard house, you're probably not going to make a can that's this tall and that skinny, right? Have you ever been to the yard house? Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? They have, they have beer that's beer. this big. It's a yard. Right? It's, it's that big. It's like this big. That'd be like two yards. But you can go like that. Okay? You're not going to do that. If you want to save, if you, if you want to, if you want to look cool, then yeah, of course. <laughs> but if you want to save money, like with bottling, you're not going to do that. It'd be stupid. So let's talk about. We want to bottle 1,000 cubic centimeters, not bottle, I guess can. We want to can 1,000 cubic centimeters. How much is 1,000 <coughs> cubic centimeters? So much in science, science of people. Is that a liter? Is that close to? Yeah. That is a liter, right? Cubic centimeter is a milliliter, is that true? Oh, that's right. That we're getting right. So we want to basically can a, a liter of a, a cola. Or beer, if you like beer, a beer can, I don't care. Make it exciting to you. We want to minimize the material needed to make that happen.
Well, you know what? We better start with the fixture, just like always with these problems. So let's start with the cold can. Hey, what are the dimensions of a can that you need to know? What shape is a can? Cylindrical. So it's cylindrical. What dimensions do you need? Yeah, it is circular in nature if you're looking down the top of it. So you yeah, definitely have to have something to do with the radius. Also have to do with the height. For sure. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do this. R is the radius. H is the height. <clears throat> and let's do this. Let's call S the surface area. You follow? Because the surface area is the amount of aluminum, or whatever you're going to make your can out of, hopefully, probably aluminum, uh, that you're going to need. Do you follow me on that? So surface area would be the faces, the top, the bottom, and the side of our cylinder. There's also one more thing we have. We have the V, the volume. Now, before we begin, let me ask you something. What are we trying to minimize here? Are we trying to minimize the volume? <coughs> are we trying to minimize the radius, the height, or the surface area? Surface. That's the question it's asking you. It says, minimize the material. The material is the surface area, not the volume. The volume is actually constant. Do you see that? That's the 1,000. That's not going to change. We have to have it hold a liter full of soda. Because if it doesn't, you're going to have it in, the, in your mills, or your so is it a mill, a soda mill? We're going to soda plant. I don't know what they call it. But they, they, you're going to fill full of soda with a liter. It's going to either overflow or it's going to be way too, too small in there. So we want it to hold exactly a liter. Let's talk about our formulas. And we'll talk about any constraints we have. Let's do the formula first. Uh, the formula, if we're trying to figure out the, the surface area for this thing, note that what we really have, have you ever thought about what a cylinder is? Have you ever cut a Pepsi can apart? I am, because I'm, I mean, I, maybe you guys are interested to see what it actually looks like. It really is just a rectangle with two circles on the top and bottom, right? So if you did this, you took your rectangular piece of paper and you just fold it around and got this, can't fold it around very well. You got the cylinder and you just close it in with two circles, you basically have a can. Follow? So what this really looks like, if I were to disassemble this and make the, the individual figures, I've got the body of my cylinder. I've got a circle and I've got a circle. I can put the lids on, that's that's your can. So let's think about the surface area of this thing. What's the distance from here to here? Is it the same R as this? Of course. Is this the same R as that? It's a cylinder. How far is it from here to here? From here to here. Okay. Now, now here's an interesting one. This is the weird one. Because we need to know that too, right? What's that? Circumference. Yeah, that's the circumference of the circle. It has to wrap around the circle, right? So whatever the circle is, that's got to wrap all the way around it. That's 2 pi r. You okay with this so far? Geometry, yeah. Actually, some calculus is calculus and analytical geometry, which this would probably take part of that. Uh, but anyway, do you see the, the figures that we have? We get two of these circle guys that are exactly the same. We've got a rectangle that's 2 pi r long. That's a weird way to think of a rectangle, isn't it? <laughs> rectangle is 2 pi r long, and it's h pi. So let's think of the formula for a surface area. <laughs> it's got to include 
two tops plus one, let's call it the body. Do you follow that? Two tops. Two times, now the top. What's the, we're talking about area, right? The area of these figures, because surface area is what, we're, what we need here. So what's the area of one of the tops? It's a circle, yeah, pi r squared. So would you agree that the two tops together are two times the pi r squared? Yes. Pi r squared gives you an area of a circle. We have two of those circles, therefore we have two times the pi r squared. Yes? yes. Add to it the, the area of the body. Remember this is surface area, surface area here. What's the area of our, our rectangle? How do you find the area of a rectangle? Pi r. Uh, length and height. Okay, so 2 pi r times the h is exactly right. <clears throat> feel okay with this so far? You sure? How many people do feel just fine with that? It takes some work to really think about that, doesn't it? And of course, I can't give you an example for every one that you're going to have, but the idea of going through is the same. Draw a picture. Come with a formula, come with some constraints. Now, we're done with the formula. That looks great to me. Almost great. We, we have too many variables. We, only, we can only have one variable for this. But we're going to have to use a constraint to make that work. So the constraint. What is the constraint? 1,000 cubic centimeters. Sure. Something has to do with 1,000 cubic centimeters. What has to do with 1,000 cubic centimeters? The surface area. Not, material. Not the surface area. The, volume the surface area is the material that we need. We know nothing about the surface area. Okay. Notice that you can make the surface area an infinite number of possibilities and still come up with a liter of cola. Like I said, you could have, you could have this as your can, which holds a liter. Right? That would be stupid, but you could do it. You could have this as your can, which holds a liter. But we want something that's going to minimize the surface area but still hold a liter. The constraint is holds a liter, holds a thousand cubic centimeters. You follow me? So we need to come up with a volume. We also need that volume to equal a thousand cubic centimeters. Does anyone know off the top of their head the volume of a cylinder? It's not hard to figure out if you think about it. Uh, pi r squared h. Pi r squared times the height. Circles stacked up on top of each other. Yeah, very good. And we said the volume had to be what now? So if our volume is pi r squared h, which is the volume of the cylinder, then we have 1,000 pi r squared h. Do you feel OK with the surface area? Do you feel OK with the volume? Which one are we trying to minimize again, the, the volume or the surface area? Surface area. So this is not what we're going to take a derivative of. We're going to use this as our tool. We're going to use this to solve for a variable, plug it into here, and take the derivative of this one. Because this right here is the thing that's going to give us our max or our min. You right? What variable do you want to solve for? you want to solve for r or do you want to solve for h? h. h. Most definitely h. That's much easier to solve for. If you solve for r, you're taking square roots, plugging those things in over there, they'd be kind of nasty, right? So probably solve for the h. How do you solve this for h? 